the new star pack is here complete rework a ton of pets were changed and what happened then is the weekly now which has strawberry pets and all that is completely changed with all of the new updates so most importantly of which is the shoe bill it's not as broken anymore not nearly as broken it's more of a single unit scaler it replaces strawberry completely different okay so the earlier video this weekly I would highly recommend trying out the weekly again with these updated changes because shoe bill isn't dominating anymore you can actually probably get some stuff going we're gonna check it out again and see what kind of cool strategies we can make work but yeah if you abandon the weekly after the first few days give it another shot it might actually change your mind here so we're gonna start out here we got a chipmunk we got a marmoset they got a new kiwi bird uh picture <laughs> he looks kind of silly he's not really furry anymore he's just kind of brown but you know um they also change his ability so i don't think he's gonna be as good anymore uh, instead of on sell give it plus one plus one and replace the strawberry he just kind of gives one attack and it also triggers on hurt i don't know maybe there's something there but in general i just strongly dislike solely attack scalers it just doesn't feel very strong so you know we'll give it a shot we'll see how it goes but my hopes are not very high we'll put it that way and okay so yeah they changed hummingbird here so basically it gives a strawberry now and they also changed the effect of strawberry as you can see here um, it essentially on faint it gives the aftmost pet pet to the left plus one plus one a lot of changes here we're gonna be hovering over everybody just to kind of see make sure we're keeping up with all the changes because some of them they didn't actually change the art design they just changed the ability and then some vice versa they changed the ability but not the art design no that's the same thing <laughs> they changed the art design but not the ability sometimes um so dove they it now replaces strawberry perks but then um it it is 1-1 one, one instead of 2-1, I think it was. So, I don't know. A lot of changes to be considered here. It looks like... Okay. I'm now realizing, yeah, the, the strawberry in the back doesn't make any sense now. Because it's supposed to buff the back guy on faint. So we gotta make sure we move the chipmunk up here. Otherwise, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna waste our strawberry ability. Okay, and then let's get rid of, I don't know, we only have one strawberry, so it's hard to justify the dove. I think we'll probably just go griffin, try to get some interesting tier 2 level 3 pets. And we can go koala here potentially, pied tamarin sucks, marmoset kinda sucks too, <laughs> a little bit. There's another koala, alright. We can run a koala. Mandrill doesn't really work with our toy here, unfortunately. Because our toy is level or tier 3. So we need a level 2 mandrill and then pill him and it's just a whole thing. I don't think it's going to pan out. Okay, so we've got a bit of a sort of hurt build going. And, oh, okay, hold on. Koala's different now. <laughs> okay, so instead of buffing it on hurt, it gives Eucalyptus Branch, which apparently negates 4 damage once. So, good to know. I'm telling you, it's hard to keep up with these changes sometimes. So we could go for a level 2 Hummingbird here. To be honest, I'm not huge on it. I kind of feel like hair might be the better way. We go here. Like, I, I kind of want to pivot away from the Strawberry build. Another kangaroo isn't bad. We're beyond the, the level 2 griffin here, I feel like, so we'll just... Okay, hold on. Baboon is good. For tier 3, we can get some hair scaling going for 2 turns. And starting next turn, actually, we can get the flying squirrel, and every other turn we'll get a level 3 tier 2. That's pretty good. That is honestly not bad. And yeah, okay, so stork OP a little bit. Um, this looks good. So yeah, let's get rid of Koala. He's not very good. <laughs> At least not with our current setup. Um, 
We could go chipmunk here, try to pull something off. Other hair is fine. I mean, any experience on any guys is generally safe. And then, yeah, so now we're going to start stealing coconuts. Hopefully more coconuts than strawberries, but we'll see. And we honestly don't mind some, some draws here, I don't think. So here's something we could do. I think the baboon's got to go. So if we put a banana on the baboon, then we could pill it and then just have a monkey instead. I think we'll probably... Okay, hold on. So if we buy chipmunk and sell, and then... Okay, hold on here. So Stegosaurus, probably going to be better than the turkey, because we have this flying squirrel toy combo here. So that's not Stegosaurus, that's Mosasaurus. So I think we go Mosasaurus, and next turn we'll do whatever we need to do with these these foods here and we could go actually no yeah gingerbread is not gonna work here um okay this looks good this looks like a solid vibe we got going here oh baby that one health <laughs> dude that one health made all the difference there that's huge um okay well this is a little weird we have a level 2.33 kangaroo here and we have a an option for a 4-4 level 3 so that's kind of tricky um i i think so if we attack twice every attack is an additional 1-1 one, one. i think it's better since we're gonna be getting some stegosaurus scaling i think it's better to do the level 3 here and we can get some croissant offset the monkey scaling here. A little level. I was hoping for another Stegosaurus there, but did not get lucky that time. Okay. So we're guaranteed two hits on the, the kangaroo. I say guaranteed. I guess we could get sniped, but typically we're looking at two. That's good. Yeah, we got two there. Perfect. Okay. Dude, if we could get level 2 Mosasaurus here, that would be huge. Oh, baby. All right, all right. Chocolate on you. I mean, straight up, I think I think the kangaroo's got to go. I feel like the gorilla's just better here. Especially, like, we're about to get a ton of scaling going here. We should probably get rid of the, the kangaroo. I mean, there's an argument for the hair, I guess, too, but, I mean, hair can steal coconuts, it can do all sorts of stuff. I think we do it like this. Okay, and then we're getting you going. We could probably move the gorilla up front, now that we actually want to have some, some coconut scaling, you know? Get the monkey on the gorilla. What do we get? Squid is terrible. No, thank you. Um, it is a question of, is it worth buy-selling, right? We're eventually going to want to go the mongoose here, so... I mean, now would be the time to sell the, the flying squirrel. We've got a, an off turn we can set up for. Maybe this is the time to do it, you know? If we sell you, we'd get four gold, because then we can use the... the squid. I think it's probably time to do it. This is going to be our kind of pivot turn, if you will. Um, probably get the monkey. Okay, level 2 monkey's huge. Okay, hold on. So, go here first. So, if we get Puma... <laughs> Puma from the toy here. We get two options. If we can get... Who do we want? Mandrill, maybe. If we can get a mandrill cooking and then pivot into like a mongoose kind of vibe, I feel like that would be very good. So let's see. Um, we go. I think we're just looking for mongoose right now. Oh, there's the mongoose. Um, 
So I think we're basically going to have... I don't know who we get rid of, though. Probably the Puma once the treasure chest is gone. Because, yeah, okay, so... Really, the only one we care about is the Mandrill here. Maybe the Stork, too, if we can pill it. But the rest are kind of whatever. So we'll keep the Puma around, let it trigger the second time on the treasure chest, and then we'll switch to Mongoose next turn. There's another Gorilla, sure. Take it. And yeah, so we're getting a lot of scaling going here. That's fantastic. Gives us a lot of breathing room while we figure out what the heck we're planning to do. <laughs> but as you can see, this team is very strong. We're just... Oh, we got the Mandrill. Okay. Now this is interesting. So we're going to get the most scaling from the monkey here. Or the least scaling. We're going to get the most scaling if we sell the monkey, is what I meant to say. And then, so yeah, we want to go Mongoose. I think we go Television here. Not only for the in-battle scaling from the Mandrill, but also you can get, like, you know, good scaling afterwards. Like, permanent scaling along with the Puma and all that. I think we go TV. Throw in a Mandrill. We'll have some in-battle scaling here. Dude, Mosasaurus level 3 would be huge. Level 2 Gorilla is also huge. Um, I mean Puma as well. Dude. The power spikes we're looking at right here is insane. I'm very excited. Alright, what do we get? That does not matter at all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're good. We still have this giant homie back here. After all that. Okay, more gorillas is always cool. We could probably conpeto the hair here, right? Like, what is the hair really doing all the way back there? Not a whole lot. Falcon would be huge. Um, Parrot would be fine as well. Let's try it, see what we get. That's an issue. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on that one. Um, I mean, Flying Squirrel here would be super cool if we could find one, but that's asking a lot in one turn. So all things considered, we're probably not going to have a toy next turn. I don't know why he's got feet on this guy. Um, that looks fine, and then yeah, we just have this ginormous gorilla out here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, these scaling options, anytime you get toy scaling, I'm a fan, just in general. Let's get rid of the... Oh, baby. The whale turns into a rhino. Love to see that. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're in a good spot here. We're almost at a level 3 rhino. The mandrill can go. Um, maybe blobfish here, right? You can sell mandrill into blobfish. I actually get the level 3 rhino. We can look for a pill or something, too. Um, I just noticed, I think Blobfish is always 10 attack now, just by default. That's kind of cool. Oh. <laughs> and they're all gone. It's all over. This is insane. Um, so I, I don't think there's anybody to Cone Peto, but maybe we put it on the Mosasaurus now if we don't find any... Any, uh... Any more toys? I can't believe we haven't found a single mongoose yet. After the first one. I mean, Tiger here is going to be great. I mean, probably Konpeto on the Mosasaurus slash Puma now, right? Since we don't have any toy support anymore. I think that's going to be the play. And yeah, these guys are in for a world of hurt. <laughs> It's just so much damage. Even if you don't get the insane chaining, it's still a ton of damage. You're doing 16 damage to each guy. That's just amazing. Alright, we get a Highland Cow. That's, that's okay. Walrus, on the other hand, is more than okay. That is fantastic. Okay. So now we're getting a whole bunch of 
peanuts in addition to all of this. Actually wild. And then, yeah, they're all getting... Okay. <laughs> Didn't even get to our nearly maxed out level 3 gorilla. Yeah, I mean, this team is insane. It really is. And it goes to show, hey, if you gave up on the weekly, give it another shot. Just try it out again, see if you like it. We got toy scaling at least. I'm sure there's a bunch of other new opportunities here now that shoe bill is gone. Just try it out. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hope you enjoy. I'll see you in the next one.